In the past few years, peculiar and unexplained phenomena has been appearing in the sky all over the world. Global observations indicate that unusual sky phenomena continue to escalate in both frequency and intensity. So people are asking questions. What are those weird lights in the sky? What are those strange clouds? Why are we seeing unusual halos and rings around the sun and the moon? Why are so many asteroids coming dangerously close to the earth these days? Why so many blood moons and rare solar eclipses these past few years? These are all legitimate questions and they deserve an honest answer. Unfortunately, there are very few who are willing to come forward with answers that will satisfy the concerns of an observant community. It's better to remain silent on this subject than to open one's mouth and remove all doubt, thus creating pandemonium among the masses. Will these strange sightings and manifestations in the sky intensify? It certainly seems so if you are among the most observant. Ice halos are becoming a more frequent sky phenomenon in large part due to the changes in the upper atmosphere, causing ice crystals to form on a more consistent basis. Unusual and complex solar halos were once thought to be an anomaly that occurred on average once a year, or in many cases once in a lifetime but we are now seeing them more frequently. Halos bestow a delicate beauty to the skies and tell us about the crystals inhabiting the clouds, but they do not tell us how they were seeded, thus determining whether this particular manifestation will continue. Intense storms are now becoming a serious threat for many people. Ominous cloud formations with devastating winds and hail are the new norm. One of the most impressive weather phenomenon photographed on May 11th in Oklahoma was a supercell storm that was so named as the Gate to Hell, which accurately describes this storm from the looks of these photographs. There is another cloud formation that is just as ominous in appearance as supercells, and these particular clouds are referred to as mammatus clouds. They swallowed up the sky over Colorado prior to an enormous hailstorm that wreaked havoc on the Denver metro area on May 8th. Take a look at the magnitude of, of this recent hailstorm. Have you noticed how quiet the sun has been these days? There have been nearly 40 days in 2017 in which the sun has failed to produce any spots. As a comparison, the sun was blank for a total of 32 days for the entire year of 2016. The accelerating pace of spotless suns is a sign that solar minimum is approaching. We can now expect to see increased cosmic rays and a collapsing ionosphere. An increasing lack of solar activity could at some point usher in the beginning of a new mini ice age. The last mini ice age to strike the northern hemisphere was in 1480, which was dubbed as the Little Ice Age, a period that lasted some 400 years until the late 1800s. It had a huge impact on everything from crop yields to changing ecosystems. Scientists have warned that the Earth may be heading towards another of these bleak periods in world history. The sky over Chile turned to the colors of the rainbow, a strange pattern of luminous color variations visible over the city of Santiago in early May just exactly what is causing this spectacle in the sky. Geoengineering, chemical spraying of the stratosphere, signs of an imminent earthquake, 
the continued collapse of the magnetic shield, or possibly an opening in the ozone allowing cosmic rays to penetrate our atmosphere. There are lots of theories, but no real answers. Here is an amazing moment for those who are intrigued by divine manifestations. What very much looks like a figure of the Son of God appearing in front of a crowd that was gathered to film the sunset over the city of Manizales, Colombia. Just recently, this city was ravaged by a giant landslide. As you will hear from the sounds of the crowd, this rare phenomenon, which was recorded on a mountain called San Conceo, provided comfort to these Colombians who had lost loved ones in the massive landslide. Although these people believe that the manifestation was a sign from the heavens, there are some who claim that this is the work of NASA, who is trying to bring about a new world order by using mind control through the utilization of Project Bluebeam. This is another in a series of natural sky phenomenon that takes the shape of a divine being or a guardian angel. When is the last time you seen something like this? It is appearing more often these days. These are iridescent clouds as they appeared over Singapore last month. Produced by the refraction of sunlight at high altitudes, they are another in a series of spectacular light displays. Meteors and asteroid flybys are on the increase in the past few years. Early last month, a huge green fireball exploded in the skies over northern Mexico, shaking buildings and frightening community residents. These incoming space rocks are becoming brighter and lasting longer as they penetrate the Earth's atmosphere. This is a sky anomaly that has garnered much attention recently. Like a portal to another dimension, eerie sun dogs baffle sky watchers in northern Russia. According to one of the photographers, this was already the third intense three sun phenomenon to happen in the month of April. But how do sun dogs actually appear in the sky? Chemtrail spraying or sun refraction in ice crystals are fairly consistent explanations, and yet the solar halos that accompany these sun dogs are just too intense to actually be real. Therefore, it is a mystery as to why this atmospheric phenomenon is suddenly appearing at the beginning of the spring season. You too. So there you have it. There are some incredible sky anomalies that are happening in these times. And it would behoove you to always have your smartphone or a recording device handy, as you may never know what will suddenly appear in the sky that you as a sky watcher may want to share with others. Don't miss out on these opportunities, because they are few and far between. And that is why I keep asking you to look towards the sky, rather than being fixated on your electronic devices. You may think that all of these astonishing displays in our sky are just pretty shows, nothing more or nothing less. But each of these displays are indicative of the changes that are occurring in our sky, in our own atmosphere. There are things in this world that may look pretty from the outside, but when you study them internally, you will discover that they carry some disturbing traits that could spell trouble for the earth. And so we must wake up to the reality that things are not what they used to be. Young and old alike are feeling the effects of changes that are taking place socially, economically, and politically. No person or place is exempt. Violent storms and devastating disasters are on the rise. 
The sky and the earth are transforming, and so the time of trouble is at our footsteps. Because of this, if you live in urban or metropolitan areas, then you are highly susceptible to these natural disasters, which would also involve increased crime, looting, and acts of violence. You may be familiar with the scene. In the aftermath of some catastrophe, people begin to panic. They riot, loot, and commit atrocities and acts of violence against one another as chaos and disorder set in. For those who may live in these communities, it is a nightmare waiting to happen. Natural disasters have actually created this sense of uneasiness in the cities. But it really goes beyond the urban setting. It is imperative that we know and understand how to deal with any situation that may arise, regardless of where we may reside. And no doubt there will be some tumultuous events that may challenge our strength and our fortitude to endure the storm. Here in America, we no longer embrace norms and customs. We want to believe that we have powerful and effective leaders who will lead us to the promised land. But sadly, the opposite is happening. We have become overly critical of one another. Our politics have become such poison that we can no longer survive as an idealistic nation. Leaders today are wielding an iron hand, bombing countries while eating cake. They are holding back progress while serving their own self-interest. It rivals the doctrines and practices of the Roman Empire in its latter days. It is a type of irresponsible uh, depotism, which displays the glory of its powers by abusing the trust of the people. So although there uh, may very well be a powerful force at work in the heavens, here on earth societal collapse is knocking on the door. And it will be in our best interest to wake up to this reality. The collapse of an epic can carry with it the apocalypse. Did you know that apocalypse is a word from the Greek meaning lifting the veil or revelation? Wikipedia defines it as a disclosure of something hidden from the majority of mankind in an era dominated by falsehood and misconception. So as we enter into a new terrain, keep in mind that unpredictable things are happening all the time. If we can't deal with the problems we face now, then how will we deal with the problems that will confront us in the near future? Be sure to follow all of the latest alternative news on our media website. And follow us on our Facebook page if you're interested in learning more about the changes that are taking place on the planet. In the meantime, stay safe and keep looking to the sky. Noticed our planet is changing quickly. We are witnessing a great transformation. It's happening before our very eyes. A recently published article describes where a body of water in Canada called Slims River completely disappeared within just four short days. This is actually the first time in modern history where scientists have observed an entire river disappear in the space of days. Historical evidence suggests it usually takes thousands of years for the process to occur. But in this case, the Slims River, which is fed by Canada's Kaskawalsh Glacier, was co-opted in only four days. The phenomenon, called river piracy, is where one river's flow is captured by another. But scientists have never seen such a rapid piracy, and qualifies the time frame as geologically instantaneous and likely to be permanent. The event that took place in Canada is but one of several similar events in which rivers have suddenly disappeared. In March of 2016, the Otoyak River 
which crosses eight municipalities in the central mountainous area of eastern Mexico, disappeared overnight after a giant crack had opened up. This is what that river once looked like. In June of 2016, a part of the popular Ogun River in the African country of Nigeria had mysteriously dried up overnight. Here you can see the people walking over what was once a flowing river. In Russia, a body of water called Lake Peshera disappeared in one day in June of 2016 as a sinkhole opened up and drained the entire reservoir. Events such as these are happening everywhere and all too frequently. The earth is reacting to the movement of a heavenly body more powerful than anything the world has ever known. So let's take a look at the latest images and videos that are shared by our Facebook followers and subscribers. The atmospheric changes that are occurring on earth are creating a series of extraordinary sky anomalies. On April 27th, a strange phenomena took place in the sky above the Philippines. This unusual phenomenon is happening in the ionosphere, which is the part of the atmosphere that is ionized by solar radiation, an influx of cosmic particles that are penetrating the magnetic field, thus creating this spectacle. Just one of the signs that the magnetic shield that protects us from harmful radiation is beginning to collapse, which in turn will result in the eventual collapse of the ionosphere, our last protection against radiation penetration. On the 25th of April, an ominous picture was painted when the skies over Poland turned in eerie purple and pink. This is an atmospheric anomaly that on the surface would be considered unnatural since it has been an uncommon occurrence until recently. The consensus on the cause of this phenomenon varies. Could it be the effects of an eruption of the dormant volcano Kambalny in Russia, the first such eruption in over 240 years? Or is it possible that the red iron oxide dust that is said to accompany the tail of Nibiru has swung towards the earth penetrating our atmosphere. This anomaly is another in a series of unexplained mysterious events taking place on Earth. On the 22nd of April, a series of orbs were captured in the sky during a massive prayer gathering in South Africa. There are three distinct orbs, one obscured by a small cloud to the left, one appearing as if joined to the sun, and a smaller one to the right. The original image was put through the editor and the light intensity was brought down just a notch. And here is what we found. The orb to the lower left of the sun is revealed behind the cloud. At the same time, there is the presence of a something very large interacting with the sun. And another dimmer object is seen off to the far right. Here is a way in which you may be able to capture the presence of the Planet X Nemesis system. It worked for this Skywatcher, and it may work for you as well. People have been using filtering mechanisms such as this LP45, a floppy disk, or a welder's lens to view its presence. This is why it is so important to surf the internet and search for answers to your many concerns about this incoming system. There are many forums and internet groups on this subject that can help you in your search for the truth. Here is something that I learned quite some time ago, and I always try to share this with others who are feeling moments of despair or discomfort with respect to this subject. There are some out there who do not want you to know the truth. They are those who exist in the underworld of hatred and deceit. As misery loves company, so also are those who fall prey to the misconception of reality. There are two types of individuals who frequent our channel here on YouTube. 
those who know and have a clear understanding that great changes are taking shape on this planet that are manifest by the presence of a higher entity. The other is those who refuse to acknowledge these changes, who take great pleasure in intimidating anyone who doesn't accept their ill-conceived view of the creation of the world and how it has evolved and changed over generations. My friends, do not fall into their trap. Do not let them persuade you that nothing is changing or that changes will never come upon the earth. It is better to take the road less traveled than to journey the road that leads to the abyss. It is a decision that each of us must face. Right from wrong, truth versus deceit, knowledge versus misconception, following the light as opposed to wandering in the wilderness. We can live in misery, or we can make every day count. I choose to do the latter. I tell you these things not to put fear into your hearts, but rather to guide you and help you understand that there is more to this life and the world in which we dwell than what we are being told by those whom we have entrusted. Everything we say and do in this life will have a tremendous impact on those around us. So when you get to the fork of the road, choose wisely. It can make all the difference in your quest for truth and enlightenment.